Hey, so this is the first video of Div 4. Um, this is a huge deliverable. It's going to be bigger than, I'm guessing it's going to be bigger than the other three um, in terms of number of videos and time it might take to complete, possibly, or just at least number, number of videos. Um, so let's get started. Let's see. Uh, these are the notes that I took when I did it myself. Um, so we can you know, go through each one. The first thing I did, uh, if you look at the comments for Div 1, 2, and 3, um, go, to, go to the link in the description. Um, it'll take you to this page right here. And you can find the, uh, the last four or five, I guess, digits of your uh, VID and see what the professor says. If he says to um, you know change anything or do anything, then you should go and do that first before you start Div 4, um, especially if it has something to do with the database or um, sample data or anything like that. <coughs> Let's see. Uh, once you make all those changes, um, go and look at the Div 4 requirements. Div 4 requirements, if you go to the link in the, in the description, um, go down a little bit uh, duh, 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 right here. Div 4 in three parts. Um, he wants a good-looking trial balance at the Ledger engine. Um, at least three JVs posted. Um, the application to be scored by the rubric when demoed in class or my office. Um, and uploaded using the link to be provided. 20 points. The link would be right here, uploader link. And then um, your MS project plan showing tasks and planned and actually delivered a, a tracking Gantt chart um, printed and delivered in class. Um, and then this one right here, if you got less than 16 points on Div 2, then you know, follow these instructions right here and do that. Um, and you can maybe look at my Div 2 videos if you messed up on this. Let's see, uh, then We can go to the project. So, let's just open up the solution explorer, uh, our solution uh, in Visual Studio. We're gonna make a few changes that I don't, I don't think I did in the last videos, possibly. Um, it'll help set up the rest of the Div 4 for us. And then there's, uh, we have to make a few table or you know, four tables, I think. Um, and after that, we will have to set up some forms and all that good stuff. All right. Let's see, I think this is prob probably where we left off last with the class diagram. So we just exit out of that, open up Solution Explorer, pin it. Whoops. Kind of drag it over. You should have your properties as well. And class view just close out. Um, let's see. First thing I say to do is user ID and database should be unique. Okay, so user ID in the database. Database one. Go to tables, BE, edit table schema, and the login ID, I guess it's the same thing. Uh, unique should be yes. Okay, so we're going to set that, and then main panel should not hide, but it should rather close the entire application. Um, use end in the form closed event. So in main panel, you double click it, or right click, view code. And I'm just saying that you should uh, not hide it, let's see. So instead of hiding it, we just want to not hide it, just do that. Okay, so now if we run it, let's see what happens. Log in, and we say, let's say account main. Now it is not hiding it, and if we close out right here, it should close out of the entire application because of this right here, which I think you should already have. 
and if you don't then you can set that up and see uh, and this end thing right here will just simply close out of the entire application for you for us all the forms and everything um, other forms should not hide as well but they should close themselves but not the entire application so form authenticate user actually that should also let's see what it says yeah so we don't want this to hide we just want it to actually yeah we do want it to hide we want this one to hide form authenticate user we want that to hide but form account main view code come down mm. Control F hide. Oh, there it is. Nope, that's authenticate user. Huh. So I guess we didn't set that up on there. Okay. So I guess we just changed one thing here. We only went and uh, took out hide from here, from form main panel. And the other two we just left the same. Um, Let's see, next thing. Um, there's a link. Let's see. Should add some tables to the database. Four tables. Let's see what we have. Um, oh, here's more requirements for Div 4, by the way. You can read through them. But I'll try to cover all of them with my videos. Um, we already have a BE table, we need a ledger table, we already have this business entities table, we need a goods and, goods and service table, no, yeah, yeah we do, yep, GS table, and then uh, orders table, details, so we need all those, and I'm going to add them right now, let's see, we need, uh, first one we can do is details, Create table details, and let's just whoops. Let's just uh, put that right there. Nope, can't do that. Um, okay. Or we're just gonna have it be uh, ID. Order ID. GS ID. QTY. Each ledger ID and then change them uh, this one should be first three should be int quantity each should be money based on what it says uh, on his web page actually says to put that as money so we're going to do what he says uh, ledger ID should be int yeah there we go and then uh, ID I guess should be Allow nulls, no. Unique, yes. Primary key, yes. And that identity, true. Okay. And then we say okay. Let's see how much time we have left? Five, six minutes or so. We're going to do the GS table as well then. Create table. GS. Come down here. GS ID. Which will be the primary, I guess. Description, class, cost ledger in price ledger out and then gsid can be int and then uh, class can be in var car is fine description um cost can be money oops no cost yeah cost can be money um ledger in could be int if you want Price could be money, I guess, if you want. And ledger out could be int as well. And then this one should be no, yes, yes, true. Make sure you set all those and then say OK. Next one, we have four and a half minutes or so. Um, we can say ledger account. Ledger is pretty easy. We just say, uh, Oops, a daisy. Ledger ID 
text. ID text. And this should be int. And then we have uh, no, yes, yes, and true. And then there should be a orders table. And that should be oops, uh, ID, B ID, A C T G date, I think. Yep. And then type C R D R and entered by whoops. And then um so it'd be ent um B ID counting date and varkar and and uh, entered by could be uh, that's fine to be end as well since it's just going to be uh, referencing an ID and BE table so it's fine to be integer let's see uh, all that's fine and say true and say okay that's all the tables we need and that's all the uh, columns and all that and then uh, next thing we can do is go ahead and enter in ledger information to, into the ledger table which is if you go to the link in the description it goes right here and these are the chart of accounts um, so we have to add all these in so if we so we go back to here go to ledger show table data and wait a second um, edit table schema real quick set this to uh, false I think actually yeah we have to delete it so delete it say ID say int allow nulls no unique yes primary key yes but identity no because we don't want it to auto increment I don't think mm. show edit table schema again delete it again uh, and let's try let's just try that see if it lets us type in you know, we, maybe we have to refresh it that's probably what it is show table data that works okay so let's go back to it real quick Oops. edit table schema Delete it. Um, just say ID, int, allow nulls, no, unique, yes, primary key, yes, and don't and have this be be a false, I think. And then now we can actually set it to anything we want. We'd say a thousand. It does. It's just not the default one, two, three, four. We don't want that. Okay, so one thousand, one thousand ten, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, Oops, cancel. Ah, shoot. No. Nope. 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 Ah, that's the ID now, huh? Yes. Okay, that's not cool. Well, let's go back into the ledger real quick. Edit table schema. Maybe we have to refresh it. Nope. Edit table schema, delete both of them. Actually, delete that one. And then just have text be like that. Say OK, and then show table data. Now IDs on top. That's what we want. So we'd be. Uh, so I'll probably just continue with the next video on it. But we're gonna pretty much add all these in uh, into it. Okay. I'll just stop here.